the, it was going to be 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but I had the wonderful opportunity of doing an interview with the wonderful Alyssa um, on her YouTube channel. Um, if you want to check out her channel, her channel is on my Twitter. I just, um, you can check that out. I um, retweeted it. Feel free to follow her over there. She was awesome. It was awesome to tune in and talk about video games. So that's where I've been this whole time when I wasn't streaming. Um, so I'm starting the day at 5 o'clock a little bit later, but I will be doing the the YouTube stream at 6 o'clock to stay on schedule. But it was awesome going over there and chatting with people about video games, movies, acting, animals, and like all kinds of stuff. And in, you can see my dog in that interview. He was running around like crazy getting into absolutely everything while we were doing this interview. So if you'd like to see Alfred like try to be the center of attention and succeeding and being my spoiled little sweet little baby you can see him there because he was everywhere um so yeah um my username here on twitch is sage skyhaven that is s-a-g-e-s-k-y-e-h-a-v-e-n if you guys could follow my channel down below i'd really appreciate it you can also follow me over on um uh, my youtube channel which i'll be streaming tonight at 6 p.m eastern standard time over on youtube my youtube username is k-a-c-y-t-i-l-l-e-r you guys could subscribe to my channel over there, I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at K A C Y T I L L E R. My normal streaming schedule is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, Twitch from 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, then a break, and then we're over on YouTube from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then Saturdays, I've been doing a bonus Twitch and YouTube stream, and I start my Twitch stream between 7 30, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then go for about an hour, and then do a bonus YouTube stream immediately after that when I've got the time. So, yeah. Follow me here on Twitch, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, guys, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I took the weekend off because my birthday is coming up this upcoming Sunday, April the 7th, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and I've been trying to plan for my birthday because it's also the same day as this giant NASCAR race. So... I'm trying to find a way to still like celebrate my birthday effectively while also having thousands upon thousands of people like flood my town and all this stuff. So that's what I've been trying to work on. Um, and I just, I needed a small little break to figure everything out. So that's what I've been doing, guys. Um, so here we are with Witcher Wild Hunt. We shall continue with the story and see what kind of mischief we can get into because you got it before me. we fought a ghoul this spirit last time and found out that I need to put oil on my sword in order to, for a sword to be effective on a ghost. So yeah. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard. See what kind of stuff we can get into, Geralt guys? Seeking his lover of yours. If you want to tune in to my YouTube Yenna. channel, I'll be streaming she Heavy Rain over on YouTube. Years, but now just a Immediately after ahead. this. Getting stuff in my email. My email inbox. Oh man, I got an itchy nose. Oh yeah, okay, so that's what she's, oh we just gave her the stuff. We leveled up last time guys, we're at level two. Ability points. Great. Abilities. Do fast attack, marksmanship, strong attack. memory. Fast attack increased by 5%. Cool. So we did that. Great. Mutagens. Okay. Cool. What stuff can we take from here? This isn't a different game than what I'm used to. Like, actually having to craft things is interesting. stuff we can collect, guys.
on a mission. Oh, you never know when we. That's the thing is that I'm. I tend to be very OCD in this. Like I have to collect every single bush. It bothers me if I don't. <laughs> There's like some deer and stuff down here. I'm gonna try not to collect too many ingredients before we get away from the game, though. I gotta fight the urge. Watching these trees. The thing. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. There's a you know it's not a bridge, it's like a dock. I wonder if I can I don't know, if I can jump things with this Gideon. horse. Hey! Fun ride, little razor. Oh, we're going the wrong way, man. I was getting so distracted. Nope. Okay, so I can't jump that. There's the dog that wouldn't speak to me last time. Shut your mouth. Oh, you're so offended by the fact I'm riding a horse out here on the dock. I need a cross. going really well. How about you? I just got done doing an interview with the wonderful Alyssa on her YouTube channel. That's why I'm running a little late on the stream. It was cool talking about video games and superheroes and movies. Ugh. stamina back then. My horse has better stamina and recharge time for stamina than Sebastian Castellanos of Evil Within. That boy needs to work out. Give me up. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be fine. We'll run over this kid. No, not actually. That's Move good. It. I didn't miss your stream today. Also, <laughs> yeah. Not so fast, Roach. Sorry, I'm starting a little bit late. My schedule's been all kinds of crazy. Um, so just woke up, 
about to play Seven Days to Die. Oh, that sounds like an interesting. Uh, trying to navigate where I need to go. Slow now. And look at the world map here. Okay, we need to aim. That's us. Wait, no. Okay. So we need to go here. Here. Okay, so we just need to go toward the body of water, I guess. On the riverbed. Okay, so we can find some buckthorn over here. Take it easy. Go ahead and get off my horse here. Some buckthorn. Oh. Oh, I have to swim under. Oh no. Okay. At least you decided to stream even if you were late. Yeah. Um. I. I didn't do the Saturday stream. Mainly because I was trying to um, prepare for my birthday. My birthday is actually this Sunday. So um, I've been trying to plan for that because there's like a giant, uh, there's a NASCAR race happening in my town. And I wanted to have an opportunity to enjoy my birthday and like go ahead and like book things for me to do on my birthday before all the race fans came in to town. Um, there we go. Cool. We got some bucks more. And then I had the interview today and I didn't I wanted to put that today, so I've been just busy. <laughs> and I did not want to cancel my stream, so it's a little bit later. <clears throat> I want to go back to normal schedule tomorrow. But, yeah, things, crazy stuff's happening. But it's okay. It's fun. I'm on the stream, but it's a lot of fun too. So. Okay, so we got the buckthorn. Seven Days That I sounds like an interesting game too. Happy birthday. Just make sure you don't push yourself in order to stream, though. Yeah, I... I need to... take better care of myself. I've learned that. Um, streaming is kind of like downtime for me, too, because I want to play video games a lot, because it's my way of, like, stress relief and to relax. So, streaming kind of adds to what I already want to do is, like, chill and relax. Um, but there are days where I'll, I'll just have to take off just to rest and have some quiet time because that's important. You need to recharge so you're not burning yourself out. That's it, Roach. Thank you for the birthday wish. That guy looks really drunk. Faster. Let's go, horsey. Kind of reminds me of Red Dead Redemption kind of voice controls, where you have to like, keep hitting a certain button to keep running. Slow now. Slow now, Roach. I called him Ranch last time. Anyone home? Must I'm be out hunting. On the oh no! I scared my horse. I'm sorry. Do you know when April PS? Plus games are free. Um, I do not Trails at this moment. I was checking out the done. PlayStation Store though, because there there's a really good sale right now. Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and get Tomb Raider today because there it's like half off. But yeah, there's some good sales on the PlayStation Store right now. So if you're looking at getting a certain game, check it out. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. 
Yes, more dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. Enough guardians the griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them? Sure. Why not? <laughs> sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. No. Dogs might, though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now. Since the war started. Soldier on the march. He'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt. Guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies. But they just won't die, because they're clever. More so than foxes. And they hate too late. What if they're the equivalent of a coyote? I guess it's like kind of like the equivalent of coyote, sort of. That one's covered in scabies. Yeah, not gonna take any meat from that. Well, they did repair the part. You know him. We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's Hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So... Can you show me where you found enough guardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. Basically, I got experience I for doing absolutely nothing. He killed them no all by Griffin himself. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me. was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Examine the site. Okay. Now the guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Oh, they celebrate and then boom, they're dead. A camp. with blood. Oh, well, they bled out. These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians probably. Loot 
I'll take it. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least? Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. have already hatched, been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Done the arcade. Should talk to Vesemir. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bads that we have to kill the Griffin for him. 
What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss. Standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already. Other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Meet you there. Okay. Alright, in the field where you plan to ambush the griffin. Okay, we wanna fight a griffin, guys. Stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on. We can cower in the shade of those birches. <laughs> So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morhen. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill.
about to die. Not bad. Not bad. Though, you could stand to improve some things. Man spends his whole life learning. Not a witcher, unless he doesn't want to live long. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. Rest in peace, little bird. Come on, Roach. Man. That's gone. Yeah. That's it, Roach. That's it, Roach. Let's go. Giddy up. There's a horse down here. That's it, Roach. Come on.
still doing push ups. Make way. I'm gonna leave branch right there. Call him ranch. Stop! Let me connect this stuff. What the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I... I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tch! <laughs> a moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Faster. Let it rain. Let it 
blood from the fields. Come on, Roach. Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Hmm. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it, just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? Cannot show to Marian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's my son attending to the no. birth, and you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Which is still young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Pathetic. Oh, oh! It's all right. It's over. Leave me be. See his face. God save us. Be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. That brawl, we didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report. 
about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... But you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment to... Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Hmm. Filthy. Just the beginning. But then. But then. <sighs> tomorrow, all right? After the audience. Creepy. This bard's tale. <laughs> Perseus Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seems just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. I 
Alright guys, full warning. If there's any nudity, I apologize. But this channel is rated mature, so... Letting you guys know if there's any nudity whatsoever. It's part of the story, apparently. Hmm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Tatwin, reshape the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, which, uh, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. But one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth unknown. Parents unknown. Age unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one Arya. What? Can't remember what I did. Um, all significant let's proceed with mystery. The siege of La Vellet Castle. The fate of the defending one Aryan. Did I spare his life? I can't remember. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in Charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Virgil. My question is how? Flotsam with Yorvith, commander of a Squiretel unit. A slayer of monsters and a slayer of men. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Mui. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope 
blow your friend Sheila de Tatsaville to bits. I watched her get in the Megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please. Affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Where are my clothes? Where well, they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. <laughs> They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. I get to pick clothes. That one looks cool. I don't like that one. Oh, or maybe I do, I don't know. That one's cool. I think the two on the and look just the same. Except they got different patterns on them. I think I'm gonna go with this one. It looks cool. Ooh, gives me tough choices. See, that looks really cool. Then what's this one look like? This might come as news to the gentleman, but a towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman will kindly dress. Alright guys, well, it's the end of the stream, um, we'll just stop it right here with, um, his fancy clothing.
before we have an audience with some royalty here. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in, and thank you to those watching this in the future. I really appreciate your support. Um, my username here on Twitch is Sage Skyhaven. That is S A G E S K Y E H A V E N. If you guys could follow my channel down below, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I'll be streaming over on YouTube in just a little bit with heavy rain. Um, if you want to tune into that, my username over on YouTube is K A C Y T I L L E R. If you guys could subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at K-A-C-Y-T-I-L-L-E-R. My normal streaming schedule is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, Twitch from 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, then a break, and then we're over on YouTube from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then Saturday mornings between 7.30 and 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I start a bonus Twitch stream on Saturdays over here on Twitch, followed by a bonus YouTube stream after that. So, yeah. Um, this is a good stopping point because we're about to go talk to some royalty. So, yeah. Um, I hope to see you guys over on YouTube in just a little bit. And thank you to those that have tuned in and supported me so far. I'm looking forward to hanging out and meeting more of you guys. Um, so, yeah. Hope to catch you guys on YouTube in just a little bit with heavy rain. Some cool stuff happening over there. So, yeah. Um, see you guys in a little bit. Alright, have a wonderful rest of your Monday if I don't see you on YouTube in just a little bit. And if I don't see you on YouTube, I'll see you guys back here on Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Alright guys, thank you so, 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 so much. See ya, bye! <laughs>